Sometimes smashing is funny. When you're in the mood, it can be very passionate and sensual, but objectively, thrusting your naked body back and forth with someone just seems a little silly. So today I'm going to tell you about my five funniest sexual encounters. Number one, power trip. In college, I thought it was hilarious to say silly things while climaxing. Things like, there she blows, or thanks grandma, or squirtle, 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 blastoise, snorlax. But my favorite one by far was... <laughs> So on a Saturday afternoon, I invited over Fine Honey for a smoke session, which is the college equivalent to Netflix and chill. Anyway, things start to escalate, we start doing the dirty. Three minutes later, and I feel the end is near. We're doing standing doggy at the time, and I'm pretty far from the door, so I start just dragging her towards the door as I'm still doing her. And as soon as we're within arm's reach, I bang in the door three times, and my friends yell, FINISH HER! <laughs> Number two, meal time. One time I'm on the computer taking myself to Pound Town, when all of a sudden the guy goes up to spider crab mode and starts offering his salad as an appetizer. I wasn't really into that, so I skip forward in the video, and the guy sticks out his foot and says, lick it. The girl says, ew, no, then goes back to tossing his salad. And I'm laughing so hard that I yell for my roommates. I'm like, guys, guys, you, you gotta see this. They're like, bro, were you touching yourself? I'm like, I was, but seriously, come watch this. And we all stood around the computer having a good chuckle. My buddy is like, how is a foot less disgusting than his Patrick Star? And I'm like, I know, right? Number three, talk dirty to me. One time I had a girl laugh at me while having sex. Now, typically, when a girl laughs at you during lovemaking, it's usually followed by excuses like, it's really cold outside, or I drank too much whiskey. But she didn't laugh at my Johnson. She laughed laughed at my dirty talk. You see, I'd been with this girl a few times, and we were talking about different kinky things each other were into. She mentioned she loves it when a guy talks dirty. Now, I never talk during sex. Probably because all the blood rushes from my brain to other parts of my body, and the only noises that come out are grunts. But because she was into it, I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a try. Unfortunately, everything I said came out sarcastic. So I'd be like, oh yeah, you like it when I touch you there? And oh, you like this dick don't you? Needs to say, she starts laughing, which really kills the mood. It was like she pat me on the head saying, aw, you tried your best. Really killed my ego. We didn't even continue after that, which made her laugh even harder saying, aw, did I hurt your feelings? And I'm just trying to hold it together like, <laughs> No. Number four, clickbait. The one thing porn hasn't adapted to is clickbait. Every YouTube video has some catchy picture or a title that makes you want to click the video, but porn is somehow still using just still images from the scene. However, there are some exceptions. Take a look at this thumbnail. What do you think this video is called? Rent is due? Close. It's backdoor to Revenge of Tyrone. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, definitely strange, but that's not that crazy. But wait, under every video, there are hashtags. POV for point of view, anal for butt play, Asian for girl that can pass as 14. Now, now what hashtag do you think is underneath this video? Go ahead and pause this video and write it down in the comments, because I'm telling you, you're going to be wrong. The only hashtag underneath this video is... Pissing. Pissing? Pissing. I want to piss on you. Grandma, why? Did the social security check stop coming? Did Charles not have a life insurance policy? Does Mittens need surgery? Why are you doing this, Grand Grand? A-A-R-P. Number five, tagging in. In college, I was friends with two identical twins, Alex and Tom. They were both nice guys. And looking back on it, I was definitely a bad influence on them. You see, I have this tendency of taking jokes a little too far. This being one of those occasions where I said, hey, it'd be really funny if you guys switched while having sex. They brushed it off at first until Alex gets a girlfriend, and now I'm berating them, saying, bro, think about how hilarious it'd be if you just switched with Tom and then knocked on the window saying, hey, what are you doing? Again, they weren't up for the idea, but I could tell they were starting to get swayed. Finally, one day we're all hammered and I half jokingly said, you guys down to do the whole switcheroo? And for some reason, they said yes. So Alex invites his girl back to his room and Tom hides in the closet. At some point, they switch places and Alex meets me outside. We're about to knock on the window as I start to think, oh God, this is a terrible idea. Eh, fuck it. It's not my girlfriend. Tom says, bro, what are you doing? And I could tell by his tone, he was having massive regrets. The girlfriend was confused at first, but very quickly changed to mortified. She turns on the lights, clutches the sheets, and runs out of the room crying. I'm like, uh-oh. Alex runs after her saying, babe, it was a joke. It was a joke. And I remember just looking at Tom through the window saying, so, um... Was her pussy nice at least? Needs to say, we didn't talk much afterwards. Anyway, those are my funniest sex memories. If you guys have any funny smashing stories, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, if you have the choice between licking a foot or starfish, go with the foot. Mmm, you know what you want to do. Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.